The United Nations is attempting to distance itself from a report calling for the decriminalization of all drugs written by its Office on Drugs and Crime. The paper, circulated to reporters and leaked online by Virgin CEO Richard Branson, was to be presented at last month's International Harm Reduction Conference in Kuala Lumpur. But it never was. Instead, the UN censored the report and threw its author, the head of the UNODC's HIV AIDS section, Dr. Monica Begg, under the bus. On its website, the UN says the report is neither a final nor formal document from the UN offices on drugs and crime, and cannot be read as a statement of UNODC policy. In a BBC interview, the UNODC even went so far as to dismiss Dr. Begg as a middle-ranking official who was acting without approval from the agency's director. But many reform advocates aren't buying it. Rick Lines, executive director of Harm Reduction International, told Salon that UN agencies do not add their logo to and recommend press circulation of draft documents or positions in development. This was not a rogue document as UNODC comms has now suggested to the press in the wake of its decision to stop publication. He went on to say that the document was clearly intended for international public and media release at his organization's conference, but was pulled back at the 11th hour. No one knows why the UN decided to censor its own report. But according to Branson, at least one government is behind the move. Many suspect the US government suppressed the paper. But of course, all parties deny this to be the case. Regardless, the report is now public. And according to Lines, the behind the scenes politics is less significant than what the document says. The fact that the UN's global drug war arm is advocating for decriminalization is more striking, he said. Adding that this is perhaps the biggest news in international drug policy we've seen in a long, long time. The UNODC paper was reportedly intended to display the agency's solidarity in joining other UN bodies in accepting decriminalization ahead of the 2016 UN General Assembly on Drugs. The report is a complete indictment of the drug war, which the authors point out has contributed to public health problems and induced negative consequences for safety, security, and human rights worldwide. Quote, the threat of arrest and criminal sanctions have been widely shown to obstruct access to life-saving health services, like sterile needles and syringes, fueling HIV and hepatitis C epidemics among people who use drugs, and contributing to preventable deaths from those bloodborne viruses and drug overdose. It continues, saying worldwide millions of people are imprisoned for minor, nonviolent drug-related offenses, in spite of the International Drug Control Convention's provisions permitting the application of alternative sentencing. In many countries, a disproportionate share of those incarcerated is from the most marginalized groups, such as people who are poor and racial or ethnic minorities, leading to prison overcrowding and related negative consequences, including pretrial detention. Incarceration, in turn, fuels poverty and social exclusion, as having a criminal record can negatively affect access to future employment, education, housing, and child custody and also exercising civil rights such as voting. Furthermore, the report explains the current UN treaties give nations the discretion to determine their own drug use and possession policies, despite popular belief. Quote, decriminalizing drug use and possession for personal consumption is consistent with international drug control conventions and may be required to meet obligations under international human rights law. With the UN General Assembly on Drugs scheduled for 2016, It'll be interesting to see how the organization grapples with the immense pressure for many nations to move away from drug criminalization. Next year's meeting is the first UN session on drugs since 1998, where the agency actually committed to the creation of a drug-free world. Perhaps in 2016, the UN will be more humane and realistic in its goals.